When exactly are you dead? Back in the day, people had all kinds of tricks to see if a person who looked dead actually was. In ancient Greece, you might have a finger cut off before they cremated you. Or if you were, or still are, the Pope, a specially appointed man will say your name three times, then strike you on the forehead with a silver hammer. You know, just to be sure. But now we have science, so you'd think there'd be a better way to know if a person is dead or not. Well, kinda. Turns out, people don't have an easily identifiable off switch. You could say it's when the heart stops, but doctors restart hearts all the time. You could say it's when you can no longer breathe, but people can live for a long time with an artificial respirator. You could say it's when the brain stops functioning, but what part of the brain do you mean? The neocortex is the part that has thoughts and feelings, the part that makes you, you. And it can live on after the brain stem, the part that controls minor things like breathing, dies. And the brain stem can live on and keep the body alive without the neocortex. Medically speaking, brain death is death, even if your heart is still beating. And by brain death, doctors mean total brain death, which they diagnose by seeing if you respond to pain, checking for brain stem reflexes like dilating pupils or gagging, and finally disconnecting you from machines and seeing if rising carbon dioxide levels in your blood kickstart your brain into gear. If after doing all this, they determine you are in fact dead, they very well might hook you back up to machines to keep your body alive. Wait, what? Well, there's one way to know for sure if a person is dead, putrefaction. That's when the body's cells start to die off and you start to look like something from an early 80s metal album cover. But many people owe their lives to organ transplants, and with a few exceptions, those organs come from dead people. And if you wait too long after death and putrefaction sets in, those transplanted organs don't work so well. So if you've opted to be an organ donor, doctors may in fact keep your body alive after your brain is dead so that they can harvest your organs. And if that sounds kind of creepy, well, okay, it is. But it's also modern medicine and saves tons of lives. So if you happen to die in a way that makes organ donation possible, you can take comfort because if there's one thing we do know about death, it's that you won't really be around to care now, will you?